Ah, so let's say I was sitting at home in my dining room. Um, how would I know if an earthquake was happening? You'd probably feel some sort of vibration, and if it was strong enough, your teacups might rattle. Earthquakes are the vibration of the crust due to movement of tectonic plates. Plates don't move smoothly. Sometimes they get stuck and pressure builds. When the pressure is eventually released, you get an earthquake. The focus is the point inside the Earth's crust where the pressure is released. The epicenter is the point above the focus on the Earth's surface. The most severe damage will happen close to the epicenter. The power of an earthquake is measured using a seismometer. What's it called, Chris? It's called a seismometer. Which plots vibrations on a seismograph. The strength of an earthquake is measured on the Richter scale, which is numbered 0 to 10. Lower down the scale, perhaps you hardly feel anything, do you? That's right. At, at intensity 2, you need to be in bed with flu or something like that, in a very favourable situation to feel the event. Mm. An earthquake measuring 1 or 2 on the scale is very common. They're so small you can't feel them. Right, prepare yourself for a horrible paragraph. An earthquake measuring 7 or 8 is devastating. People die, homes are destroyed, fires spread and water is contaminated. This was a four-story building. There's only two stories above the ground now. There are landslides and tsunamis flood coastal areas. Oh, I'm glad we got out of that. It's over now. Don't worry. Look at this cute dog. The impact of an earthquake is dependent on other factors too. Densely populated areas suffer more deaths than rural ones. The time of day and year also matter, as people need shelter more in the winter. If it happens in a severe winter, then losing your home is a bigger deal. If it happens when everybody's asleep, then they won't have time to react. I'm looking at film from the BBC's library. That's great. So are we. LEDCs often suffer more from the effects of volcanoes and earthquakes. This is because they have weaker communication systems and lower standard of buildings. They also have limited funds to deal with evacuation or the aftermath. 